Yeah, this will have to do. Cue intro. What's up everybody, this is Gary from Hanson. This is uh, gonna be a series of how to and basics for concrete. And seeing as it's our first, I thought we'd, uh, we'd, we'd start with some of the real basics and hopefully we can teach you a few things along the way. The aim of this series is to educate you a little bit about concrete. What goes in it, how it's made, how it gets from us to you and everything in between. Concrete's everywhere. In fact, it's one of the two most used materials in the world, second only to water. So today, we're gonna to be talking specifically about how it's made. By the way, today we're shooting at Hanson's Preston's plant in Southwest Sydney. Every plant's a bit different, and this particular plant is what we call a dry batch plant. Basically, what that means is all the materials are added into the truck, which acts as the batcher, and that mixes the concrete. But more about that later. Now, before we can batch concrete, we have to get all the raw materials together. So it's actually a little bit like a bakery. But instead of flour, we've got cement. Instead of nuts and fruit, we've got rocks and sand. And instead of yeast, we've got admixtures. And like a bakery, we've got water, which we make into a dough, which we can turn into thousands of different products. And we make a lot of it. We can make up to 6 to 11 cubic metres in a load, and a cubic metre is 1,000 litres. So that's equivalent to 1,000 cartons of milk. And a plant like this can easily make up to 2,000 cubic meters per shift. And to keep up with demand, the materials are delivered to us in bulk. Each of the different types of cement are delivered in tankers and are stored in silos. Rock and sand are delivered in trucks, which are tipped into bins. They're also stored in overhead bins, which are near the silos, so that loading can be done faster. Admixtures are also delivered in bulk, and they're stored in tanks. Water is also controlled on site, and we use recycled whenever we can. Some plants even use rainwater. Once we've got all that together and we're ready to batch, the batcher can pre-weigh the materials, which is all controlled by a batch computer. When ready, they're loaded into a truck where they're mixed, then checked before they hit the road to go to a job site. And that's it, that's the basics. Obviously there's more to it for different variations, but we can get into that in different videos. Okay guys, so that's it for this video. Hopefully some of these points help. If you're thinking about doing some work with concrete or you're just interested in what else is possible, go to our website. I'll leave a link in the description below. If you enjoyed the video, smash the like button and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video and cue outro.